to this, the 2011 Ohio State Fair. Now, I've been going to fairs all across Ohio since before I can remember, and they're some of my favorite things to do. And here at the Ohio State Fair, we truly showcase the best of what Ohio has to offer. From the lake to the river, from the hills to the flatlands, all 88 counties come together to make this fair one of the best in the nation. I really encourage you to come out and explore the fair. Marvel at the butter cow, eat some fair food, ride some rides, go to the marketplace, visit the Youth Discovery Building, go to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, and enjoy a livestock show. Everywhere you go, there's something to do. I can promise you that. And don't forget to come to the sale of champions. Growing up, my favorite part of the fair was that moment right before you walked into the show ring. I was nervous and excited, kind of like I am right now, because I had worked all year for that one moment. And there are a lot of people here that have worked all year for this fair. And they deserve to be recognized and welcome. First, they will be providing us with music and entertainment all week long. Your Ohio State Fair Band and Ohio State Fair Choir. I would also like to recognize my fellow Junior Fair Board members. We are here to serve. We are here to serve all of the fairgoers, and we'll be working at various places throughout the fair. If you see us in our blue polos, be sure to ask us questions. We'll be happy to help. We also have our, our state, Ohio State Fair Queen, Miss Lara Staples, and our Miss Ohio, Miss Ellen Bryan, here with us this morning. And this next group, when fair would not be fair without them. They're our Ohio State Fair commissioners. They are the ones that put in the long hours and worked hard all year long. They wouldn't want me to admit this, but some of them have been here at the fair and have been involved since before I was born. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Please join me in welcoming Miss Catherine Barter. Mr. Amir Elon. Representative David Hall. Senator Cliff Height. Mr. Tom Jackson. Mr. Jennifer Lynch. Or Mrs. Jennifer Lynch. Mr. Michael Knoll. Mr. Tom Price. Mr. John Sprang. Ms. Sherry Varkas Mantassel. Mr. Doug White. Mr. James Zeringer. And your Ohio State Fair Chairman, Mr. David Corey. Um, also, I would like to welcome this morning the Kasich family, Karen, Emma, and Reese. And the governor, Governor Kasich. This next person needs no introduction. He's been at the fair for a very long time, and he has a passion for it that I've never seen before. He's a, he's a great man, a good role model, and a fantastic general manager. Mr. Virgil Strickler. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Susie, and what a great day this is. Welcome to the 2011 Ohio State Fair, and how proud I am of this great state fair. My great staff truly 
amazes me every year. They come through every year with all the different landscaping, flowers, all the different rides, all the different uh, foods, great exhibits. And it's just fantastic, like Susie said, so I'm very thankful. Our livestock shows are the biggest in the country. Our horse shows, we have live roving entertainment. And the, truly, the value of our state fair is there for every family here in Ohio to enjoy. One of the major things that I've worked on over the years, and again, to clear that up, this is my eighth as general manager of this great state fair, eighth year, and uh, it is my 18th year as a director of agriculture and horse show for the fair. And, you know, every year, I believe that I've tried very hard with our directors and all of our departments to make sure that we have youth programs. How important it is, and I remember the day that Governor James Rhodes talked to me about that, how important it is for us to stand behind our youth and bring our youth through these gates and make sure that we educate them here at our great state fair. Not just agriculturally, but any business that comes here and provides uh, the input and so forth when it comes to putting on a great state fair and it's a celebration of companies coming here and being a part of our great state, state fair and showing what Ohio is producing out there. So I'm very thankful for that. But I also want to thank two great examples <clears throat> and they're standing right here today and that is our All Ohio Youth Choir and our All Ohio Youth Band. Let's give them a round of applause. I'd like to thank both of the directors, Don Santa Emma and uh, Charles Snyder, for their great dedication towards this and also their great staff. But there's a perfect example of how we reach out to almost every county in our great state to bring these 400 youth participants into our great state fair. And I just want to thank their parents. You know, I was one of the lucky ones. I was able to be involved in 4-H and FFA. But I realize if it hadn't have been for my parents and their sacrifices and so forth, I would not have been able to go to all the different county fairs and all the state fairs that I was in. And I just realize this every day that our livestock shows Think about the hours that are put in on their livestock projects and their horse projects and how much their parents mean to them. And then as we build this great state fair, it becomes these young folks that are going to be bringing their children in and making our fair memorable and making sure that we build a strong base and a great future. And that's what I'm all about when it comes to this great state fair. I want to thank all of our company sponsors. Uh, we've, it just keeps growing every year. So that to me tells me that we're doing something right here. I want to thank all of our partners in education when it comes to the Ohio State University, 4-H, FFA, the Ohio Farm Bureau. We have the best educational programs in this nation and we can prove it because most of the states come over here to see how we do it. So that's, the, that's definitely a com compliment to us. I'd like to thank all of our state agencies. I really appreciate uh, each one of the directors. And I appreciate Governor Kasich and, and working well on his initiatives with those directors. We've been very fortunate. But there are just a few that I need to highlight. And that would be Director Charles, Director Mustine, Director Ray and Director Zeringer. Those four, I can't tell you how much it means to me to work with your great staffs. And we're talking when it comes to our safety issues, when we talk about our overall agricultural exhibits. Uh, these departments or these agencies help us have a great state fair. If it wasn't for them, and of course the diamond in the rough here, and I've said this about every year, is the ODNR park. I mean, we have a great park here, and I just thank uh, Director Mustine for all of his help and all of his great personnel and help. I thank Colonel Bourne and Captain Charles and their staff for being here. And let me tell you, we have a great, safe fair here. 
I want to thank First Lady Karen Kasich for her support, and I want to welcome Emma and Reese to the fair. I want to thank all of our commissioners. I really appreciate all their support of me and my great staff. And then this is when I start getting choked up, but I do have the greatest staff, and I'm very, very thankful because not only is it for the fair, but we work here as a team year round. We have 150, 150 other events here during the year. And I know that hearing the governor talk about this, we want to strive to do a lot more business every day here. And uh, we give the opportunities to a lot of companies and a lot of the events to come here and to help us economically. So I'm very happy that I have such a great staff and their dedication. And then next I want to thank uh, my wonderful wife, Kim. And uh, as you can imagine, she puts up with a lot because of my hours and everything, and, and I just thank her a lot. I thank my four daughters uh, who mean the world to me, and I saw the fair through their eyes too. And let me tell you, it's awesome to see a child come to this great state fair and live through your children. But I thank Allison, Ashley, Tiffany, and Katie for all their support. And this last gentleman that I want to introduce, and it's just really been great. I've uh, heard from him, I've heard from his directors, and uh, he just loves the state fair. And um, it's been a great opportunity for us here in Ohio to work with this great gentleman. And uh, it's my honor now to introduce the governor of our great state of Ohio, Governor John Casey. Thank you, Virgil. It's nice of you to arrange that flyover as you were introducing me. It's very, 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 very sweet. Very. Hey, uh, give a great round of applause to Virgil. I mean, this is day and night for him, and it's got to come off great. If you know, on the way over here, Emma and Reese said, uh, hey, hey, Dad, I know you got to cut the ribbon and everything, but can we just go on the rides before you do that? And I said, no, you got to wait. So, 158th State Fair, I mean, it's just really amazing. I mean, I when I think about the State Fair, I actually think about Jim Rhodes. I mean, I think no, no one more than Rhodes built this into one of the great, great fairs uh, in the country. So, uh, I just reflect on him and chuckle at the way he used to carry himself and move around this place. and how much he loved it, and uh, I have a note here that says we're one of the best fairs in the country. No, we're not. We're like a high state uh, band. We're the best darn fair in the entire country. We're not second. Um, and look, we're, we, we want all Ohioans to come. You know, I, I know that, um, that uh, there are a lot of city folks that, that don't know much about the farm. Uh, they've been out on the farm. Well, this is a chance to come and get ourselves in a position of where uh, they can understand that bread just doesn't show up in a, in a grocery store. You know, you, this is a place where we actually know that we can find out what farmers do, and agriculture is the bedrock of this fair. So we want folks in the city to be able to come to this fair and to be able to participate and learn about agriculture and, uh, and really celebrate a united Ohio. Uh, some people don't un always understand a united Ohio, but most Ohioans do, and it's, uh, it's fantastic. So here at the fair, you've got the Civil War encampment, Budweiser horses, the Butter Cow, the Cornwall, the 9-11 Traveling Memorial, fireworks, of course, you can sample Ohio wines and beers, the chocolate pig, I'm looking forward to that, farm animals, and of course, as you all know, we can milk a cow, and beyond that, there's a lot of other things that we can do. So, I think without any further ado, why don't we get it rolling? It's a perfect day, a little breeze, great weather, low humidity. This is the Ohio State Fair, the 158th, and it is just fantastic. So let's step up and cut the ribbon and start the roll on that. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's have a countdown with the band and choir. Five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Ohio State Fair.